Hello or bonjour, my soccer universe, and welcome to part two of my league uh, jersey review. Well, in this one we'll have not, so I'm wearing not, uh, which basically takes out all the, uh, the the one color, more or less, that is not from the French flag uh, from from the wall, but still, you have it now, front and center, the yellow and green of not. Absolute wonderful shirt. I have to say this was a special reissue of the 2001 title winning shirt. In any case, uh, we have 12 shirts in this video. Don't worry about the fan here. How did I choose the teams in this video? Well, I did it like I always do. Uh, I take last season standings and I go one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, and so on and so forth, as you see in the table here. And then every team with a number two next to it is in this video. And then I don't do it, do it by the standings. I actually do it um, uh, somewhat alphabetically. Now for this video, I had only two teams. I decided on not because, you know, PSG, you will have anyway in the th th thumbnail. I have worn PSG jerseys for most of the uh, review vi videos and you have your PSG mostly on the side. But I would say let's get started. Again, like in the last video, I hope, don't hope this will become a theme, but we'll start up north and we'll take Arcelos, um, who are now with Puma. Uh, I always struggle with Lance. I always think Lance should be kind of equally between red and yellow. Last season, I think they were a little bit more on the red. Now they are definitely more on the yellow. But I think what I... I have the most problem with this particular shirt is it tries two things at once either go for the sash or go for the pinstraps don't do double duty other than that i think it's really well done i'm sure there will be more sponsors added after all it's legal huh? then here but the way this looks i have to say it doesn't look all that bad it's just a little bit too much i, I especially the pinstriping through the sash this just doesn't look quite right to me so uh, trying a little bit too much and for that reason I yeah some may say it's a nice experiment I actually think that uh, it I say it's too much but still it, it, in some other ways it is pleasing I will go down the middle with it I'm not quite decided and will go six stars and I say uh, it right now I know that I had let them last season as a pen sponsor I think Lance needs to get McDonald's on board because that sponsor would fit perfectly on this shirt given the color scheme. Um, the away jersey is um, more or less a, probably even is this a solo jersey with a last crest. I do not get it. I The one thing I get it's a little bit darker than the home jersey so I mean there's some contrast there but other than that I don't really get it. Uh, maybe you can enlighten me what green and black is about. I have also last season's last jersey uh, left me a little bit flabbergasted, but this one I don't quite get at all. Is it a bad jersey? No, but do, don't you also also think the last crest is a little little bit lost on there? I think this is one of those where yeah, doesn't make much sense 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 to me. So I'm gonna go four here. Um, cannot say much more. The last third kit is probably the most interesting of the three of them. Light blue with yellow and then a red and then kind of it looks like taken from the sky. That's interesting. Um, hmm. It looks weird, but I actually really, really like it. Uh, that's better than the, the, than the other two. Um, weird pattern also on there. Is it, I mean, it goes a little bit like the Lorient jersey that we looked last video. Um, blue is not a color, but it may, there's a very pleasing shirt under. So I'm gonna go the same way. And I think this is the best uh, last shirt. And it's not a typical last shirt. Uh, this is seven. Now, for another cup, cup offering, we go, um, a little bit further to the east and a little bit further south and go to Metz. First off, new crest for Metz. Uh, the Granoid Dragon is gone. And I'm really, really sad about it. I guess that the pattern in there has a little bit to do maybe with the dragon. But honestly, take the old crest and look at the new, new crest. They got butchered. I mean, this new crest just looks awful. Really, really awful. Yes, it's the cross of Lorraine. I understand it. But this cut stuff, 
it looks better on the jersey egg actually than it does when you just see the crest by itself uh, I, it's one of the worst downgrades i've ever seen and i have even seen a version where they, they actually had the shield and made the dragon bigger and the cross smaller and then the actual fan base said well we actually identify more with the cross than with the dragon okay but do you have to butcher it that much at least put the dragon inside of the cross maybe i don't know you know i'm not from Lorenz, so i can cannot see uh the jersey itself actually with the pattern is quite interesting although it's also not very metz like i mean metz has has kind of like torino aroma kind of a darkish red tone here we have a lot of orange added and a, almost brownish looking but it is interesting i have to say i also like the cut uh most of the copper cuts this season so uh i think it's over quite all right uh even the two sponsors on there don't really bother me they don't look ugly they don't look like they mess up the shirt uh and i think the orange accents it is an in 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 interesting shirt uh i'm gonna go with seven stars and uh what i also also like is that they stay consistent with this look uh the away shirt is a black version of this one it uses the same pattern, but honestly, this looks actually, I mean, not the same pattern. I mean, there's a, you know, it's differently ac accentuated, but uh, looks similar. I like that you use the black, the white, and then a little bit of the red from uh, or from Mets in there. Um, I think maybe it's a third jersey or, or or the way there's also i think a sponsor missing so this makes it even look nicer um but it's wild i overall i have to say i like it i also want to give this seven stars uh the only thing it's maybe a little bit too dark but for that you have then the third jersey maybe they're switching around again similar pattern differently accentuated um, now um you have white you have the dark red especially for other crests and have a little bit orange thrown in to kind of see this uh the or the overall theme i think as i said those three work really 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 well to to to, to together uh again i'm gonna give this the seven stars um i've as I said, it's maybe not a classic Mets look, but it does something different. Um, and the crest on this on the shirts shirts doesn't look as bad as it does just as a logo by itself. But I mean, it's gonna be the dragon. Okay, we are going. We are staying kind of northish, but we're going now all the way west to not. I was mourning that this shirt didn't get re-released. No, they come up with something yellow and green. Ah. Uh, I have to say, I probably like it better than last season's, but the green dots, downstripe, yeah, the best thing is the color. I mean, the new Nantes crest is not as bad as others, Juve or Inter, but yeah, uh, overall, it kind of leaves me cold. I'm getting used to the red synergy, synergy, I think, but honestly, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah five uh, yeah, I, I was expecting a little bit more i do have a like the away jersey a whole lot uh first of all, sponsoring gold and then green gold white pretty nice i think they should release a green jersey where they just swap the colors or maybe they have gold and green uh, this will also really look nice but that's that's a really really nice looking shirt simple yet effective I'm gonna go eat with this one and we're done with not I mean really not much to talk about but uh, one nice jersey one not so uh, great PSG now uh, <laughs> PSG let me put it this is the most overhyped jersey of the season and it's all down to the little man who uh, moved in from Barcelona um, and also because for the first time uh, the Jordan brand is now used to uh, for the home jersey. When I heard that, and I thought, yeah, maybe I should get a Jordan uh, jersey, and they're only from PSG, and I was looking at the fourth jersey from two seasons ago, the one that would complement uh, the home jersey that I've hanging here quite well with the French flag. But then I said, yeah, let's wait for the home jersey. How bad can it be? Well, they took all the PSG out of it and made it a basketball jersey. And it gets even worse when you look uh, at the pants. 
Which is a nice touch. I mean, they are uh, modeled after the Chicago Bulls pants uh, when Jordan was playing. So, I mean, that I think is a nice touch, but the jersey, phew, this was a little bit hard to swallow, to be honest. Uh, especially after they find that the, and please correct me, this is the, Esch, I would say, Echter uh, design, Echter, Hecht, I mean, I as a German would say Hechter, but I'm sure that's surely not, surely not it. Uh, designed last season, so the classic one. Uh, this time, yeah, it is kind of there. If you look closely, there's a center stripe uh, in blue, but it's more the pattern. There's even an outline, especially in the um, replica, you see it well. But no, it's not really there, except maybe on the collar. I know PSG has been going mostly for navy blue, which is not bad. And I think fashion-wise, they are probably super stylish. It's just not a PSG shirt. I actually find these rather underwhelming. Are they bad? No, I don't think they're bad. They will sell like crazy. I just think they're totally overhyped. I'm going with my favorite grade so far in league. Uh, not too many great jerseys so far. I think the highest so at, at the moment I've gone is eight. I'm gonna go five here. Um, the away shirt I think doesn't improve things. And I think on Museum of Jerseys, they try to recolor it in the classic PSG colors. It also does, does, doesn't look right. Uh, it tries to take the classic design and then kind of shifts it around a little bit. And then you have black and pink of all colors. I just cannot get myself to really like it. I'm gonna go four stars. And it might well be that the third jersey is the best one and it features my two, uh, two of my least favorite colors, dark gray and uh, light gray. But there's a reference. I think there was in the early 2000s an away jer uh, jersey that was light gray with a white stripe like this. So actually this looks quite nice. I do not like the back of the color. That looks ugly. The most interesting part though is, and we might actually see this on the new uh, national team range for the 22 World Cup. The Nike swoosh is not on the jersey itself, it's on the sleeve. It's not on the torso, it's on, on the other sleeves, which might actually be something that I would like to see more and I probably should, should make a video about it. I really like the swoosh placement like this because it opens up the jersey a little bit more, um, but it also makes them more for a centralized crest, which looks okay here. I'm generally, if I had the choice between centralized and on the left breast, I go left breast because this is the more traditional look, but I think here the centralized crest looks fine. I think overall this might be the most exciting, but I'm not very excited. Jer Jersey, I'm also gonna give this five stars. Um, if I look, just if I detach myself that this is a PSG, not PSG, I actually would say that the blue one is better than the black one, pers per personally. Since it's PSG and there is at least some historic uh, re reference better, but I still, I cannot bring myself to go more than five stars here. But I like the, the swoosh placement uh, here. Um, last team is Strasbourg and with Strasbourg we get like always the last three or four Strasbourg is always some weird Adidas template with a really pleasing sponsor I know the green is not a club color but I like the ES sponsor with the um, uh, leaf on top there's something really nice and nice about it and they then all always have multiple shades of blue that is a really nice touch and I have to say I do like this one. Yes, it's Adidas, it's not great, but there is something really nice and pleasing and I know a Strasbourg jersey is kind of on my list because that's the city I've been in France at the most. In France, uh, yeah, I think I've been three or four times to Strasbourg, that's more than any other town in France. Um, I like it. I'm gonna go seven stars here, despite even a few sponsors added up here. Um, and then the um, away jersey. Also, I think I've seen his tamp a little bit more, but I'm not so sure about the lines coming up and the Winamax sponsor. Yeah, club color, but it doesn't sit quite right with me. Uh, that one is a little bit too much to me. Don't like that one. I actually think this might be one of the, yeah. It's a little bit of a mess. Too, too many colors. I actually would go three stars here. In any case, I would like to know what you thought about the jerseys in the video and where you agree and where you disagree with my ratings. Please drop a line below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.
Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click that little bell so in order to stay updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. With that, have a good day.